Hey everybody. Uh, with this video, what we wanted to do was just kind of give you a quick little walkthrough of the little bot so you know all the different little details about him that might not have been clear in the rest of the campaign. Or This right here is actually the little bot basic, and by basic it's just him rolling around. This guy's the plus because he's got the gripper on him, and then you've got the the Ultra with the extra sensors and everything else, and we'll kind of look at a few of those. But, uh, here with the little bot, he's got the main outer shell, and then he's got his base with two little wheels and his roller, or his, his slider back there. Uh, to turn him on and off, it's actually just this plug. The reason we use the plug is for kids, uh, in a, an electric, from an electrical standpoint, a switch isn't really, really clear in what it's doing, so we wanted to use the plug to show that this is literally what's happening when you use a switch. You are giving it power or cutting off the power. When you dig into him, all you have to do is pop off the shell like that. There's no screws for the shell, it's a pop on, pop off, which is really nice. Got his eyes connected there. Technically, I suppose we could call that his optic nerve because it's the wire sending signals from his eyes. Inside of him, right here, if you can see, we've got the, the main chip in the back, the batteries and the drive motors up front. The battery pack slips right out and then you can insert batteries and everything else. If you've got an assembled bot, all, this is kind of what you got to do to get the batteries changed. You pop off the shell, you take out the battery pack, put in new batteries. And then right here you can see the board with the Arduino inside of it and the Bluetooth module and all the rest of it, all the connections there. Board um, actually slides right out too. If you want to take everything out and put it back together. The little bot actually only has three screws in him entirely. One screw for this wheel, one screw for that wheel, and then technically one screw up here for holding the board in. This one's really not necessary. It's, a, it's an extra benefit to make sure that that board is in there securely, and it's okay to just slide the board in and slide it out. So if you're actually playing with the robot a lot, it might be good just to leave that screw out and technically has two screws. Three screws generally. So then you take the battery pack, you slip it right in there. The top sandwiches it down in there so it's completely secure. You'll have to thread the, uh, the battery socket back through the way. Here. Shell on there. He's got a couple little nubs in the back and on the front that allow you to just snap it back together there. Okay. And you've got your little bot. He's all ready to go. Turn him on. Like I said, you just plug him in. He'll sit there because his natural state is to be stopped. Take out the app like this. You select the Bluetooth. Select the Bluetooth that works with him. And then once that gets connected, everything should be happy, and I should be able to drive in here. There's the three modes right here. You have to select the mode you want because he's in the stop mode, so I'm going to select remote control. And that's how you use it. And then you've got the stopped mode right here, which is basically the, the, the rest mode. This is where everything's shut down and he'll just sit there and stare at you, which is, that's a good place to have him so that he doesn't wander off. And then down at the bottom, you have the autonomous mode, uh, where he uses his eyes to actually navigate and move around and interact with the world. So if you click on that, he'll start up. And then if I put my hand in front of him, he'll have some kind of reaction here. I'm going to back up. Come on, do something more interesting. There you go. What he actually does is, here, this is what the stop is for. What he's actually doing when he sees stuff is he generates behaviors as he's going along. Any single reaction that he'll have at any given time is unexpected. He's creating the different reactions as he goes along. When he might turn left, he might turn right, it might be a spin, all these different things. It's not a preset batch of commands that he's like rerunning for all you people who are really interested in the details. Just him creating. Pretty much all it is. It's him creating. That's as far as I'm going to go into that. But that's how the autonomous mode works. When his eyes see something, he will create some kind of reaction that is totally unique that he will then execute. He just wanders around and you don't really know what he's going to do or anything else. That's the little bot basic. So that's pretty easy. You drive him around or you let him wander around. Both are pretty nifty. And as time goes by, we might add new functionality from like the app and everything else that allow him to be a guard dog or those kind of things. But that's how he is right now. He's pretty tough. You know, you can throw him around, toss him around. It's, it's not going to hurt anything. Go ahead, shake him a little bit. I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt him. He's, he's pretty durable. Moving on to uh, the little bot plus. The plus is the gripper. Basically, you see these little nubs around the side? One, two, three. Those are for mounting different accessories. 
accessories. And in the case of the Plus, that accessory is the gripper, which opens and closes right here. When you get it in the box, if you've got like the assembled kit, what you'll have to do is you take the gripper and you actually have to uh, slide it on to the bot like that. And then it's on. That's all you gotta do. And then it can control the gripper from the app and everything else using this slider over here. Pretty much all there is to that. Uh, and that's pretty easy. The gripper can come off um, if somebody really beats on it because it, it just slides on there. But it's got a few locking bumps and everything else. So it comes on and off fairly easily, but it's it's solid. It's not gonna jiggle off. And then you've got the Ultra. The Ultra is the gripper with a uh, line following sensor rig here. Uh, this might change a little bit by the end of the campaign, but the line following sensor, you've got two IR sensors on either side that can see the darkness of the line and then the robot can adjust around that line. An infrared proximity sensor that slides onto the side just like the gripper would. So you replace the gripper, you slide on the ultrasonic sensor, and then he can follow a wall. Uh, that code will be posted up. What you have to do with these sensors though when you get them is you have to run them through the side here and then plug them onto the board on the inside. That's the, the, the hitch in that. But there'll be tutorials and diagrams and everything else to help you with that so it won't be difficult. Just a little bit of extra effort. Put your gripper back for you. Of course there's, there's also the dozer. The dozer's a, a cute little thing to add if you're ever using these for like sumo bots. And of course it slides on and off just like the light sensors using the two nubs on the side. So depending on what the accessory is, if it's a one half or a, a full front accessory, um, you use either these two nubs or these two nubs. And then kids can redesign these dozers and everything else and use them for who knows what all. And that's kind of what the little bots are. So they need a home. But thanks for watching guys. That's the little bot. Those are the three versions of them. We've got the basic, the plus with the gripper, and then the ultra with the gripper, the wall following sensor, the line following sensor, and the dozer. So if any of that was not clear, uh, hopefully it's clearer now. The app of course is free. It's based on Android right now. Sometime in the future we'll probably put it on iOS, but we're not guaranteeing that right now. Thanks everybody. Have a good time.